In Creo 9.0, we've added some shape controls for deformed versus undeformed results in Creo ANSYS. To demonstrate this, let's run a simulation that contains both basic and advanced results. Starting with basic results, we can turn on animation and see the settings. Auto scale is the default, while we also have, have access to change some preset values or user input for a scaling factor. Here we can try many different op options, giving you the immediate feedback on your input. Next, we can change to an advanced result. You can see that we have the same deformation controls for any type of results that we wish to look at. Here's the advanced result for displacement. As you can see, the same controls are here in the advanced results. Another improvement that we have made is access to the simulation query. In the past, we only had simulation query available in advanced results. Now in Creo 9.0, we have access to simulation query in both basic and advanced results. The big benefit we have in Creo ANSYS with the deformation controls is that we can now show true deformation for the geometry. These user controls for the deformed shape and the improved access to the simulation query make Creo ANSYS easier to use when interpreting results.